and the recording is going. Hello. We have gathered here to role play um, or to collaboratively uh, uh, work out the dialogue part between two characters and uh, we're recording this uh, mostly for ourselves so if, if this gets uploaded anywhere that's why <laughs> there are no fucks given <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> still the wait let me try to regulate it still if you see this consider it bonus material yes it's like proper behind the scenes <laughs> Is it better? I don't know. It's a tiny bit. I think so. I don't know which way to twist it to get it better, so... <laughs> now... If I took the blue tape off, my, off the camera on my laptop, I could just use that and send you this 720p Logitech one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I send it along with a copy of Cloud of Arts, but it still isn't a thing. Yeah, so yeah. the thing, thing is that I think this camera, it, it has more capabilities than I have tapped into. It's just that I haven't uh, downloaded its uh, software, so it's like it's running on generic. So I, I'm I'm thinking that it's probably it can do better, but I'm restricting <laughs> it. Do better, camera. Yep. Okay then. Situation. Uh, bam. Okay, so the situation is that. Uh, and I, I shall resume. Uh, currently, I, I shall take also the role of the uh, omnipresence or the sort of GM or the uh, situational situational guide. Mm -hmm. Right. So the scenery is. <laughs> Scenery is mother. <laughs> Most yeah, yeah. Interior, day, night. Who knows? <laughs> it's in space. <laughs> Interior, spaceship. Ah, <laughs> uh, Nolly. The and uh, I, I can't. I can't uh, be arsed with any capitalizing. We will do this this afterwards. Nolly, the scrap retrieval dude who has come to the scribe order residing in mother uh, in not mothership residing in <laughs> the <laughs> small board fleet uh, with the task to analyze some Shady data is so <laughs> yeah is mm -hmm. passing time in the mother ship's um, crew area, namely in the let's call it foodery. <laughs> The foodery. The foodery, because like I, I, I don't want to call it cafeteria. Cafeteria is so. It is so earth. Yeah, and it, uh, just as a side of reference, when I used the term galley in a strip personality battle, so it feels like. Yeah, it, we're we're spice. Yeah, it's got to be a better word. For this. Yeah, yeah, uh, and uh, the the thing, the thing with using. Naval 
uh, vocabulary for anything to do with spaceships also reinforces those uh, force equivalences or those those force uh, like false analogies between spaceships and naval ships as far as layout goes so like you're not thinking vertical you're still thinking uh, in floor plans and, and that sort of yeah. thing so you're, you're not thinking 3d and uh, even though i mean there are only so many functions that the room can have and sooner or later you will run into familiar functions and familiar ship uh, still the functions can can shift a little bit like maybe maybe you don't have kitchen as such maybe you have like uh, or like maybe maybe you don't have kitchen and pantry maybe you have like the uh, I don't know storage and compiling da -da -da -da, you mm -hmm. know and and maybe you don't have a garage or a hangar uh, maybe you have a shuttle assembly bay, you know that 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 sort of yeah. thing. And uh, the same thing, tangent ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, the same thing applies to jobs and uh, and roles in a crew. Uh, this is something that I ran into when I was working on the uh, base camp story. Is that Okay, there, there are the the rough division is between fighters and support, and within the support roles, there are roles and there there are jobs that can be compared oh. to to our day, like uh, military enforcement, whatever. Uh, but they are not one one to one the same. So when you have the unit scribe, uh, whose job is to record and and distribute data and all that and at some point uh, they were also helping to signal y you know deal with the information technology and uh, and uh, pass on the signals between the unit and all that uh, and then somebody from the uh, writing workshop said like oh I didn't realize this was supposed to be an IT guy well that's because they're not <laughs> like they 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 are not they they are not a hundred percent uh uh comms officer they are not a hundred percent uh tech officer they are something blended and in between so same same thing with the rooms anywho foodery uh in the foodery I think there you mentioned that because out of all of the characters i think nuts and chaos have got the most of the Mm -hmm. Type jobs, but that makes sense because they're from Earth. Yeah, Earth. yeah, Earth. like they Earth. literally Earth. are. Yeah, yeah, like they literally are from Earth, and they are from the time when those jobs existed. Yeah, <coughs> it's almost like you know what we're doing. <laughs> uh, so in the foodery, Nolly chat chats up the food tech slash. Flavor librarian who uh, who might explain him some stuff about gathering um collecting collecting information in it. Various forms, including smell, taste, etc. Tabla. Great, taste it. Taste, 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 taste. Bam. Scribe. Uh, arrives from the job all 
disheveled and nervous. Searching for that guy who supposedly has run into similar data as he has retrieved. Bam! Okay, so I, I would say that Nali is like da -da 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 -da. I don't know what you wrote in in that uh, uh, in that situation, or if you if you have made any notes or drafts there. I was I was thinking that th there's a few possibilities. Nali could be um, just chilling out, flipping through a data pad trying to pass time that way. He could be tinkering on something that the food scribe has got, mm -hmm. like preparing one of his machines or something. Um, uh, or he could just be treating it like time out, but it sounds like option two is the one where... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I like that right. one the best too. So... Yeah. Oh, if you want uh, Yeah, go ahead. And in fact, the, the more that I'm starting to babble, the more uh, uh, I think uh, I actually let the writing to you, so I can sort of, uh, I can yap away <laughs> and you type. <laughs> Apparatus in this sense is like... Uh -huh. Yeah, it could be, it could be anything, uh, like this is, this is not plot critical. He could be mm -hmm. just may maybe he's just uh, getting to know some uh, some of the food machinery. Maybe he is helping out with something <laughs> like working on the caffeine dispenser. <laughs> oh, make use of this because my fingers are working today. Ooh! Oh yeah. Okay. Right, and so basically he he is doing his own thing, uh, his mind is, is with the machinery and uh, currently he, he isn't even thinking about uh, the information that he brought in. So he's, he's basically distracted by the wonders of Svalbard. Explanation mark. <laughs> <laughs> and then the scribe barges in. Uh, and uh, no, not the scribe. It, this is the scribe order. He cannot be the scribe. Oh, in our okay. Uh, right, right now. Uh, so at the moment. Uh, when we say scribe, it is a placeholder for our scribe. Y yeah, we can say our scribe. Eventually, we will have to come up with a name for him, which I don't currently um, have. I'm so. going to say our scribe because yep. the food scribe is sort of also in play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's sure. let's stick with our scribe for now. So our scribe barges in. Where is he? Yeah, dialogue. Where is he? <laughs> At this point, uh, the food scribe would say like, "Oh, hello! How was your hunt? Or how how was your trip? Uh, bring back anything good? You know, uh, some some small talk." And uh, the food scribe, because uh, they are a professional, would provide some some beverage. Like, hey, check check out uh, check out what I can do with this. Uh, I just got some new recipes from this guy. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so when Nali is tinkering with the machinery, uh, he's not actually fixing anything, but he's just taking a look. And at the same time, uh, he will give the food scribe some information about uh, the uh, uh, the merchant ship. Uh, customs and and foods and such. So so basically, he he is providing some some flavor information for the food scribe. Uh, 
while marveling at their machinery. I love this, and the food, and the food mm -hmm. driver's like, oh hey, I just, just got, got this new thing. thing. Yeah, uh, so move the, and then our scribe barge is in, move this one to the bottom of this. Uh, and this? Yeah, yeah, and this too. And, and our scribe is like, what the fuck, man? No, don't write that. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, so basically, he is he's in a hurry, and 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 he doesn't like he he will have none of it. But I I don't know how to express it right now. So he's like, maybe later. Uh, where's the, where's the stranger? Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And and that and and here I think scribe should like run scribe runs to Nolly and uh, basically starts shaking him down like where did you get it where did you get the data this is not so I'm gonna put any terra bang in there yeah yeah. You can put asterisk in there if you like. <laughs> right, and now, up to you. How shall Nolly respond? Uh, a bit confused at first, I think. Uh, uh, but I think he probably gets his head around the situation a little bit and is able to answer Scribe's questions. But there was the moment that we were thinking about repairing or looking at Okay. Role okay. play. Role play, please. Give me, give me an answer. I don't, I don't want any outlining right now. We have already done okay. all that. We already, we already know the background. What happens? I, I want raw dialogue here. No, 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 none of that. We already, like, we know that he's confused. I want, I want raw text notes. I want dialogue. Roll dice if you have to. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this is raw dialogue, leave it in, but uh, I, I would like to point out that at this point, okay, you are Nolly, mm -hmm. a strange guy, uh, you, you have been relaxing in this uh, uh, interesting facility, talking to this fascinating person and uh, trying out uh, various uh, flavors and talking about your your family and and the time in different ships and suddenly a stranger barges in he jumps to you shakes you and asks where did you get this where did you find this what do you do And uh, add a note somewhere that at this point a food scribe might interfere a little bit. <laughs> Frodo! <laughs> Frodo scribe! <laughs> 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 yeah, and, and leave it at that. I think uh, we can, uh, uh, we can we figure out his part later. It. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he he is he is part of the scenery right now. He is uh, he, uh, flavor. <laughs> the data, man. The data. Where did you find it? <laughs> the strange man is still in your face, and he insists. What do you do? <laughs> Is he still shaking me at this point? Uh, I, I would, I would think that if he's not literally shaking Nolly, then uh, Scribe is at least like he is, he is like getting up, up into his face, and he's like he's being intense. Scribe is being okay. intense. So, 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 so
So Nali might back off a little bit. Here's something. Okay, I, I know that I, I'm interfering in in no, Nali's okay. dialogue no. right now, but uh, We're working the same goal, do it. so if a strange guy jumps in your face like this, like if a strange guy jumped in my face like this, I wouldn't want to start giving him answers. I would I would first I would try to calm the guy down. So it's like uh, oh, no, Nali 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 should definitely not just outright answer him. It's like whoa, what are you talking about? And like, dude, uh, has has that uh, has that uh, extra doodad been twitching like this all the time? So that, that sort of thing. So Nali is responding to Scribe's behavior, but he should not just out outright answer his question like this. I was thinking uh, along the sense of like, Nali's in, uh, in Svalbard, he's in sort of like a, an area within the ship. Um, he he it's a person from he can all he can obviously see it's a scribe, right? Yeah, but it's a it's a stranger. Uh, that is true. It is still a stranger barging at him coming into his face uh, so starting asking random unrelated questions like he's not part of the conversation that the Nali was just having. So it's like whoa. <laughs> So Nali needs to sort of establish who this guy is. Yeah. And like, why? Why would he even respond to? Maybe, maybe it's a crazy person. <laughs> this is true. Might be one of the. I wonder if the food tribe explains to the sort of overthinkers to him. That's that's a little bit. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's. This is this is more more in the line of my thinking. <laughs> uh, and uh, I would add another line of interaction slash reaction between Nali and the food scribe. So maybe the food scribe either tries to defuse the situation, or Nali could ask the food scribe like something like. Uh, What's going on? Does this happen a lot, or like, <laughs> do do you come here often? <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, I, I have an idea. And then the the food scribe uh, introduces them, and he's like, uh, "Let's see. Oh well, this is name here. <laughs> One of our field scribes. It appears that he has returned from a da data retrieval mission." and has been affected by it somehow. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> like, this is Steve, he has come back. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's call him Steve. <laughs> As a code name, <laughs> our scribe, aka Steve. This is Steve. He has just returned. This is one of our uh, fieldwork scribes. He has returned from a data retrieval mission. Uh, I am guessing that there were complications. Would you like to talk about it, Steve? I can feed you. <laughs> Like, 
like I can I can feed you or like here drink this. I think here drink this is a is a better Oh, uh, this is Steve. Uh, oh, this is just Steve. Steve. He is one of our fieldwork scribes. Uh huh. He's just come back from a data retrieval mission. Looks like something has shook him up. And to Steve. Yeah, and to Steve. Hey, drink this. Yep. <laughs> Steve. Okay, uh, so on to Steve. It's like Steve comes with the uh, mile high air quotes. Like this, this is a placeholder name. We we will give him a proper name, but I think uh, yeah. naming him naming him Steve immediately uh, made our day a little bit better. <laughs> this is also a good way to put placeholder names in because we're very obviously never going to use the name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never come into consideration. Then there's many like. Using names like Dennis and stuff, which are sort of chaos kind of the theme. Mm -hmm. I should stop doing that. I should just start using Earth names. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I, 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 I often use like X, Y, and Z as as placeholders, mm. but Steve is so much better than X. Uh, and uh, okay, Steve gulps down whatever beverage the food scribe gave him. Is this before or after Nali responds? Uh, I think uh, uh, before. So put okay. put it after the food scribe interaction. Uh, Steve takes the and um, when he's when he's in the middle of drinking, uh, the food scribe will sort of nod understandingly, as a typical. Uh, High was common villainy bartender who has seen some shit, and sort sort of nods understandingly and take it the mission didn't go so well, eh? And uh, the scribe sort of nods in the middle of drinking. And yeah, S Steve. <laughs> and the food scribe uh, pokes further. Uh, you lose the data. And at this at this point, uh, Steve uh, finishes the drink, shakes his head, and. Uh, and uh, sort of like, mm. oh, I got the data all right, but I had to, but I had to run. Oh, I got the data, you motherfucker! <laughs> 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 uh, oh, and add add note, uh, the stuff that the uh, food scribe ga gave him uh, this should calm the scribe down, calm Steve down a little bit, and also clear his head because currently he is still high as a kite from all his uh, uh, travel drugs. So he should uh, he should on on one hand he should uh, calm down a little bit and he should get into greater focus and so so he's like Ooh, okay yeah oh I got the data all right <laughs> uh, and I think at this point the food scribe sort of takes over sort of directing the situation so it's like okay you got the data so what do you want with this guy.
and that this however Nolly might uh, might sort of uh, uh, comment something with uh, with a bit more helpful so now now that he is more aware what's going on he could like may maybe comment something in the middle of the others talking. Mm, I think now he's probably going to let Stry oh, answer okay. through Stry's question, and, and then maybe he'll he'll add something. Uh, and at this point, Steve starts calming down, and he's like, uh, "Oh, well, maybe it's nothing, but." Uh, so at this point, he is starting to doubt himself. So it's like maybe maybe it's nothing. Uh, the, the database alerted me that uh, his data has overlap with mine. And then oh. he and yeah, and then he addresses Nolly. You weren't you weren't followed, were you? Should I have been? Oh, yes. Uh, and then Steve, Steve could still press on. Uh, uh, oh. Can we call the Skype Steve? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're you're coming up with a guy named Joe. <laughs> okay, so Steve should be like, well, uh, uh, I want him to comment on the idea that the data was important enough to bring it here, like. Well, there has to be something about this data if you brought it here. And uh, to this I would expect knowledge to comment on something. But again, I don't really want them to get into the contents of the uh, of the stuff yet. Like they are establishing communications oh, at this point. Right. Yeah. So because like uh, at the moment, I I I don't really want to hear any speculations about the uh, information itself from Nali. It's more like. Yeah, I brought it here because uh, I had nothing better to do, and somebody told me that I should bring it here. So it's it's more like I I, w I would think uh, this is more of a random occurrence. <laughs> I think that's your base camp stripe, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, Joe is the placeholder name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, and at this point, uh, Scro Steve and the food uh, food scribe could both get a little bit excited, like, oh, uh, they are still so they are still around, aren't they? Like hundred years old by now? Oh convert the age later <laughs> x is very valuable yeah 100x old but add the 100x old now 
because otherwise I, I I'm I'm sure I will uh, forget what the what the X was meant for. <laughs> and a hundred times old. <laughs> yeah, hundred times old. <laughs> So this this would give Gnarly the excuse to uh, to tell some tidbits about oh yeah and and uh, maybe open up uh, about it's the a, yeah it's a she as well, isn't it? uh, if it's the same if uh, so it's it's a big if but if the character uh, would remain the same as the base camp scribe. Uh, then it's not a she either. It's a uh, they they're an, they are an asexual slash intersex person. So it's like no <laughs> non-binary. <laughs> and it it could even be that uh, Nali uh, Nali could question like she no no no. Never, never had a human relation in in their lives or some some. So this this could be commented on. Uh, but uh, but if uh, if the character becomes somebody else, then it, it can go in whichever way. So in any case, uh, this gives Nolly a little bit of. Uh, Excuse to open up about the scrap station and uh, and uh, and the recommendation or the uh, how how we even got here. I don't. I don't, don't even. Explain yeah. Too much. Yeah. yeah. I. I think. I think you can just say that. Uh, uh, I found this thing, and uh, they said I. I'd better bring it here, uh, to have it properly analyzed, something like this. And uh, again, this is something that we can later on add to, like when we figure out uh, some details about that list. We might add more details, but right right now, I think it's it's sufficient if we say, "Yeah, I found this old data. I showed it to the local wandering scribe, and the wandering scribe sent me here." Again, uh, yeah, I I irrelevant. Yeah. Like, uh, j just, just, just say they sent me here. Oh, had to send me here. Send sort of says, well, they couldn't do it where they were. Sorry. It, it doesn't matter. I, I had to go yeah, right. yeah. It doesn't. It does. It doesn't matter right now. The what's important is that there is this reference point of maybe familiar character whom they all know. Mm. And uh, and uh, that uh, there's. Basically, this word of recommendation. The what gear they have, uh, why they sent them here. This this is not even important. Extraneous. Ah, yeah, extraneous. <coughs> extra extraterrestrial. Whoa, we have over one page. Yes. Oh no. Extraterrestrial. I couldn't help myself. Yeah, man, a page and a half. Oh, okay, hang on. <laughs> 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 a little bit over one page, let's say. Uh, I think uh, we need to insert a placeholder here. Uh, so a placeholder where they discuss the significance of this data. And and this is uh, this is something we don't currently have. Uh, so I think it's better if we skip over this. Mm -hmm. I still want. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Oh, tell, tell me, tell me all about it. You want to add I, something? I would. Uh, Nali's answering these questions. Cool. Oh yeah, they're doing good on the merchant ship. 
at this point should be the sort of point where he shrugs and then he sort of notices out the corner of his eye, oh, man, your suit's in real bad shape, hey? Uh, want me to fix that for you? I, I, uh, uh, so... Uh, I'd either write it in or, or add a placeholder that Nolly does his thing where he sort of befriends people by checking their te technology. So it's like Nolly is getting. Uh, th this is the sort of signal that Nolly is, is starting to get comfortable or, or he's sort of mm -hmm. adjusting to the situation. I'm like, oh man, you don't look so good. <laughs> or you, your suits seem better days. I say, to say, oh man, you're certainly seeing better cycles. Yeah. It doesn't work. <laughs> no. Like, I think, uh, I think when it comes to. Uh, first off, this is first draft, so the text will change anyway. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to idioms, uh, I don't think replacing day and night with something future y uh, works at all. So it's a. In such cases, it's better to come up with something completely new. But for now, this is first draft, so anything goes. Right. Uh, I would say that actually this is the first blow of the first encounter kind of resolved, actually. So the the point where Nolly reaches this point of comfort that he's able to switch into his helpful tech person persona, this is actually a resolution of this first brunt. Well, thank you for extracting that idea. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Uh, I would like to take a little break. Mm -hmm. As would well. I. Yes, yeah, so I'm I'm going to finish this recording and I think uh, we can carry on with a bit more of this situation but I don't know if we can if we can uh, replicate this sort of intense uh, scene building <laughs> for for long but anywho uh, this uh, <laughs> so this uh, this episode ends here I'm, I am stopping the recording right now yes you do the waving Bye!